Every time we get a pangolin in rehab, I'm thinking to myself, is this the last one? And this for me is the kicker why it's so important that we save them right now, is because we don't know. They're very tactile because their mothers would spend a lot of time wrapped around them and holding them like this. And this is why there's constant touching, constant reassuring. We embarked on rescue and rehabilitation, but our ethos has always been to put them back into the wild. What I believe uh, is the pangolin can talk. First thing is to listen. My best part of the job is to teach them how to feed. And try to help sick animals to get strong and healthy. Let's just let her do a little bit of walking. Now we know how to save these animals, we know how to rehabilitate these animals, but then that led on to they need safe space. And that's how an organization like Tiki Howard Foundation links up with an organization like African Parks. Their unique approach to management of green spaces is an amazing conduit for what we're trying to do for Penguin. Matsado National Park. We are among the parks that are also focusing on pangolin monitoring. Matusadona is a very rugged terrain, which makes pangolin monitoring very difficult. It's a tough job. You have to be very strong. Uh, we have some mountains to climb. Yeah. And it's difficult to find a signal. For the past three years, uh, working as a ranger, I, I didn't see a pangolin. You know, to actually find a pangolin, you feel like you have won something. It's a huge achievement. But for the past two days, working with Chikayod Foundation team, it was easy with that empowerment. <laughs> it was like sharing information, knowledge. It's a very good thing. It's a very big thing. <laughs> Falut was telling me how you can fine tune the receiver if you find the pangolin in barrel. Sometimes you have to stop. Right. Yes. I can tell you. If the animal is out, I was told that the animal went for your These meetings with experts allows us to share ideas, share knowledge about how best can we improve our monitoring efforts so that we can protect pangolins. It's something which is so special, that information. Tika brings in the expertise, the knowledge they have, which will make our work easier. I think I would also need a Matsadona Conservation Trust because we have the space, we have some feedback on what we have found here in the wild. So it's a partnership that is a win-win for both sides. A definitive moment of success is when you put a pangolin back where they naturally should be. MP has now been tracked for over 630 days. We've got an incredible bank of data of his movements. And uh, by all intent and purposes, for THF standards, this is a successful reintroduction. So I think let's take his trackers off, OK? Because you guys have done such an awesome job. Oh. 
see how he was walking, healthy and strong, is something that was very amazing. Yeah, I'm happy for him that he's not free, but <laughs> you, yeah, you will have a place in my heart. <laughs> These animals, they really deserve to be given a second chance into the wild and they really need protection. <laughs>